Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome. Newbies in between them. My... Oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings, okay? I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember, to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings, okay? I am just blessed and I am deeply appreciative and I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy and I am also raising two beautiful boys, but know that Every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time, and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold, babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected, me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Hey, my babies. Hey, my darlings. So we're going to get right into this reading. Okay. Please only take what resonates for you and leave the rest, darlings. If it does not apply, let it fly, okay? And remember that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. Now, this can be your energy, someone that is in your energy, or someone that wants to get in your energy, boo-boo. All right, so let's see what's going on here. What is going on? Oh, Lord. <laughs> let's see what's going on. Oh, so we have arrogance in the reverse. Okay, wait a minute. Skirt rewind. <laughs> Damn. Let's see that again. Arrogance in the reverse. So somebody then got humbled in these streets. <laughs> Somebody that got humbled in these streets because you didn't let they ass go, okay? <laughs> All right, somebody tried to uh, play with you. Somebody tried to be sneaky, all right? And uh, you humbled their ass. It just is what it is. Cause you didn't let them go. I feel like this is the type of person that actually thought that you would never let them go, that you would never leave them, or they actually thought that you would come back. Mm. Well, they're seeing otherwise is what I am being told, okay? Let me turn this down a little bit because it's a little loud, okay? So you done let somebody go and now they humble. <laughs> Not only are they humbled, they're burdened, okay? Mm. Mm. Upright, it says, if I don't get what I want from you, then I'll get it from someone else. Well, it looks like they couldn't get it from nobody else and they damn sure are not getting it from you and will not get it from you is what I heard. All right, they done played themselves. All right. What is going on here? Mm-hmm. Because they can't be trusted. You don't trust this person. 
This person probably always playing games. All right? I'm hearing this person is not a man, damn sure not a woman. All right? Put yourself where you belong. They are a little boy or a little girl. Childish. And by you loving yourself and letting this person go in all areas, okay? That means physical, energetically, mental, all right? You even stop having sex with this person. Now, they humbled. <laughs> but you still don't trust this person, and that's why you let this person go, okay? They only fooled themselves when they thought that you was a fool. When they thought that, oh, you know what, well, hell. If I can't have you, then I'm gonna get somebody better. When, where, and how. When, never. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. And now they're sitting over there sad, depressed, stressed, okay, possibly even angry because you don't want this motherfucker. Let's be real here. And listen, I'm going to say it how I hear it. I said what I said. You don't want this motherfucker. Okay? Self-pleasure in reverse. Okay? Upright, it says, I pleasure myself to your photos. I have secretly saved in my phone. Yeah. Move along. Okay? is what they are doing, is what you are actually showing them. You are no longer energetically connected to this person, nor do you care to connect with this person. I feel like this person was doing sexual magic, masturbating to your photos, trying to manifest you back in towards them, and the shit not working no more, okay? It ain't working. Maybe you came back, Maybe you had wounds to heal. That's why you kept going back to this person. But boo-boo, you done did your shadow work. You done worked on yourself diligently and effortlessly. Okay? And you are not the same person that this person used to basically draw in. They would basically feed off of your wound that you were reluctant on healing, baby. But since you didn't heal, <laughs> You leveled up. You have glowed up. You are not the same person you are in the past. And you damn sure won't be the same person tomorrow. Period. Point blank. Okay. What's going on? What's going on is I hear this person going to be exposed. That's what I said. That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like you don't want nothing to do with this person. You see her flagging. You know that guy off in the back? Like, go on here with your life. Go on here. All right? You confuse me. You give me mixed signals. No, you don't. You're not dealing with this person. You don't want to deal with this person. Okay? And you don't give this person any energy or any signal signs that you want to deal with this person. This person's in denial, baby. Yes, and they jealous because you could definitely have someone else or you have someone else coming in towards you. Okay, let's be real here. So this person probably like, oh, you know, they just being difficult. You know, this person is delusional. Because I'm hearing this person <laughs> tell people, oh, you know, she just being difficult. No, you don't want to deal with this person. You over it. It's done. So this person may try to come towards you all humble as bullshit. It's a lie. Don't trust they ass. What I really heard was they trifling ass. That's what I heard. Woo, child. Let them go. Woo. This person wanted a commitment with you or you could have been in a commitment with this person, but you over it. It's done. There is no spinning the block. There is no second, third, fourth, fifth chances. It's done. It's over. All right, you are totally focusing on yourself because that is what you are guided to do. This person actually thought that they could get better than you. They actually thought that you were stuck on them. They actually thought that they had some form of control over you. I mean, the delusion is real. And the, this person 
they really need to go check themselves in to get psychological help, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm being real with you. So like I said, you could have been committed to this person or this person actually thought that in the future, you guys were going to be committed. And what reality does this person live in? I'm hearing they didn't give you no time, no energy. They didn't give you shit. Shit. They were out here thotting and bopping, fucking and ducking. And they actually thought that they was going to save you for last. They thought wrong. Okay. And if you were committed to this person, this person thought that they had some type of control over you. Like you weren't going to eventually pick yourself, focus on yourself, love yourself enough to let this person go. Well, they got a wake up call today, I'm hearing, or tomorrow, or whenever this happened, or this is about to happen in the future. Okay? Can't be trusted. Yeah, like you tired of forgiving this person. It's over. Okay? How many times you want to say, you know, okay, I forgive you. How many times you want to accept them saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ain't no more fucking sorries. It's over. Okay? It's time to move forward, focus on yourself, and manifest in that real love that is not going to have to say sorry every five seconds, every month, every, you know, quarter year, every goddamn year. Okay? It's time to be by yourself. It's time to focus on yourself, right? Continue to get to the bag. Continue to work on yourself, baby. Forgiveness is done and over. All right? My bad. Somebody text me. But that was a confirmation. Forgiveness is done and over, okay? Self-pleasure in reverse. Yeah. You ain't got no more love. Love where? Ain't no more love. They caused the love to die in this connection, okay? You're not hard to read. You're being completely clear. You don't want to deal with this person no more. You don't want to give this person another chance. 10-10 ten, ten is over. It's done. There is no second chances. Take your L, swallow your L, and move on. You don't want to forgive this person. You're tired. I can feel it. You're tired. You don't want to learn this lesson anymore. You have healed that wound. You continue to heal and elevate and ascend. And you have outgrown this person. Whether this was someone that ghosted you or someone you were committed to. You're on a new level, baby. You're not even sexually attracted to this person anymore. With self-pleasure in the reverse? Hell no. You completely see this person in a negative light. You do not see this person the same. Yet you do not hold any resentment. You forgive for yourself, but you are not going to forgive and get back with this person. Fuck no. Or allow this person to spin the block. No, it's over. Okay? And they did it to themselves. I was trying to remain hopeful. This is you. You was trying to remain hopeful, but I feel you slipping away. Okay? That's your person. You were trying to remain hopeful. But you're done. You're tired. And they know that it's over. It's over. So now they want to act humble. And they want to be like, why are you acting so different? You know why? You know you acting that way towards me. You, you Are you kidding me? It's like this person really want to act clueless, but they're not clueless. They're not. By far is what Spirit is saying. And they know damn sure this is over. There is no future. And there is no reconciliation. There is no spinning the block. There is no, oh, you know, I'm sorry, baby, crying on their knees. Fuck all that. You forgave for yourself, for your growth, for the elevation and evolution of you. And to continue on your spiritual journey and to fulfill your life's purpose. And to continue to be one with self. To love on self. To value who you are and what you deserve. And this person doesn't value you. Never have and never will. They can't be trusted. You know this. You can't ignore this anymore. And the best decision 
If you haven't made it already, babies, it's to let this person go. But if you have, kudos, baby, because you have elevated to the next level. You have sacrificed this low vibrational, manipulative, like for some, they're a narcissist. They're a psychopath. They're delusional as hell. But they act like they're clueless. They're not clueless at all. They know exactly what they've done and how they've hurt you. For some of them, they did this shit on purpose. That's why the arrogant card is in reverse because they know that it's over. It's over. It's done. Like your spiritual, I'm hearing goons, your spirit guides, ancestors, the angels, they're not fucking around when it comes to blocking this person. You could definitely have a spirit guide that is like protecting the hell out of you at all costs, assigned to permanently block you from this person. They are assigned to permanently block you from this person. This person could have been doing spell work behind your back. I'm hearing unforeseen and unthinkable things that this person did behind your back. That, you know, your angels, God, and your spirit team, they don't really want to reveal it because it would hurt too much for you. But know that you and this person, you will never come back together. This person will never get a second chance. It's over. At the bottom of the deck. I ain't even see this. Not for you. You know this. You feel this. You see this. You have accepted this. If not, you need to accept this, okay? Because we don't need you going through another cycle with this psychopath. We don't, okay? Trust your intuition, right? And eliminate this person. It's over. Trust your intuition, baby. It's screaming at you. Trust the red flags. I know it can be hard to believe that someone that you could have been committed to, married to, that you thought that loved you, that you loved so deeply would do some heinous, nasty shit to you behind your back, slander you, magic, evil eyeing you, trying to bring your business, your reputation down. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to accept that. But unfortunately, in this message, it is so true. And if you resonate with this message, this is something that you have to accept so that you can move forward and you don't have to repeat it with this person or any other energy like this person. Meaning the same energy, just a different person. We don't want to do that, right? We want to heal that wound on why it's so hard to let this person go, right? If you haven't let this person go, if you're thinking about spinning the block and letting this person back in, don't do it, baby. You will regret it. Okay? It's time to eliminate this person because they're not for you. They're not. Listen to your intuition. They can't be trusted. No more forgiveness. No more chances. And you already know within your heart that the love that you used to have for this person, you don't have that. It's not the same. It's not. You know, maybe in the past, you thought this was, you know, your end all be all. You thought that you would have a future with this person. But unfortunately, this person ruined that. Not you, baby. Every time this person backstabbed you, broke your heart, hurt you, said I'm sorry, you forgave them. You went into hermit mode and you worked on yourself and you healed and you became better and you kept ascending and you kept just like elevating whether you realize this or not. And now you have outgrown this person. Wow, this person is stuck in their ways. If you choose to stay with this person or 
go back to this person, it is not going to be any better. Actually, it's going to be worse because every time you have to learn the lesson, it gets worse. Yes, this person will always be a cheater. They will always be a cheater because they are not self-fulfilled. They are immature, selfish individual. They are. And they will never feel like they have enough because they don't feel good enough for themselves. So yes, they'll lie to you. They'll gaslight you. They'll make you their main as they have sides instead of making you the only one. Fuck a main and fuck a side chick or dude. If you ain't the only one, then you're not sacrificing or taking a risk on anyone. Okay? This person is silently living a double life. So this person is outwardly presenting themselves as if they are single. But they are definitely in a relationship or married. They may want to add you as the third will. And surprising as it may seem, whoever that they're in a relationship with, they don't want to let this person go. So they're okay with this person probably adding you. But see, you're no dummy. You're not weak. You're no idiot. And you damn sure don't go for no shit like that. So if this person tried to sneak and come towards you, if they tried to act like somebody else and come towards you, if they tried to play little childish games, you immediately knew who this was and what the hell was about to unfold. And you graciously blocked this person, declined this person, because you're not the one, the two, the three, the fucking four. And you don't have time for immature lames like this person. You don't. You don't, baby. Ooh, child. Secret love. I've kept my love for you a secret. It's too complicated to explain. What I'm getting from this is this person has secret lovers. I'm here at secret lovers. Yeah. So you're not the only one, baby. You will never be the only one. Let this go if you have not. Do not reconcile. Do not let this person spin the block if they ghosted you. Let them go. Whoever resonates with this reading, you are not supposed to take this person back. You are not supposed to reconcile with this person. If this person ghosted you, that was for a great thing. If you rejected this person, you dodged a bullet, baby. But if you are still in a commitment with this person and you're still trying to make it work and you're looking on the bright side, listen to your intuition. What, what is your heart? What is your gut? What is your intuition telling you, baby? It's telling you to let this go. And like I said, I know it can be hard. I know it can be. And I understand, baby. But if you want better, if you want your equal, if you don't want to deal with these childish ass games, if you want to be valued and loved the way you want to be loved, you got to get rid of this person. Two, 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 two. You got to, baby. Okay? Divine timing. The time is now. And in divine timing, you will manifest the love that you want, how you want to be treated, talked to, how you want to be looked at, how you want to be complimented, how you want to be appreciated. You feel me? This person is incapable of doing that because 
they never want to work on themselves. They will gaslight you. They will cap you. They will lie to your face because this person is codependent on your energy or whatever you're providing. This person is not fulfilled within themselves. So this is why they try to find it in other people. You cannot change anyone and you should not want to. The only person you can change is yourself. And the best thing you can do for yourself is keep moving forward. Leave this person in the past where they belong. I don't care if they come back begging. I don't care if, you know, they tell you you are the love of their life. I don't care if they're coming back humble. They're not for you. They're not. They have secret lovers. Oh, it'll be too much drama. It's just too much. It's too much. Okay. Yeah. But they can't move on from you. That's their karma. That's their karma. Okay. Some of you guys are like, I don't give a shit about this person. <laughs> Some of you guys are like, I done been moved on. And this person keeps haunting me in readings. Okay. They're trying to come in your dreams. They're trying to come back into your energy because they are haunted by what they did to you, by the fact that you don't want them, by the fact that you have outgrown them, by the fact that you do not love them nor look at them the same, by the fact that for some of you, you ain't never want this person. And they were so in their ego and hurt, they actually tried. And they probably are continuously trying to stop your love life. To have you be alone. But see, what they fail to realize is that you have ascended past them, past your wounds. Or you will be once you let this person go, depending on which message you resonate with. They don't have control over no one. Actually, for some of them, an entity, a jinn. I'm hearing a malevolent spirit has control over them. But you are an earth angel and an angel will always beat a demon, a devil, a jinn, a entity, always. See, baby, you won the battle and you won the war. But you have to realize it if you have not let this person go. God got you, baby. There's nothing to worry, to be afraid of. God got you. Even if you have children... Or a child by this person, God got you. I give you the strength, the determination, and the love for yourself, baby, to leave and to know that you have better coming if you have not released this person. They will always be undecided. This also could be your energy. You don't know what to do. Should you stay? Should you go? Your intuition is screaming at you. I'm hearing your inner child is screaming at you. If you have not let this person go, they're not for you. They will always be in this two of swords energy. Always. Because they are empty inside. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. That's this person. So they're always going to try to manipulate you from moving on. Especially if you are committed to this person. If you're contemplating on divorcing, breaking up, separating indefinitely. This person will come back and gaslight the hell out of you because they can't move on. They don't want you to move on. So like... <laughs> can't make this shit up so like i said decision because they can't move on they don't want you to move on and find someone better because it is someone better out there it is do not fool yourself and think that oh this is all you're going to get just because this person could have been a catalyst for you to become more resilient more strong to have 
a example of what you don't want to release this person and get what you do want. I've made up my mind. I'm not wasting any more time. Yeah, of course they're not. This person could be coming towards you fast or they're going to come in and, oh, I need to talk to you and have a whole gaslighting ass supposedly heart to heart conversation. It's bullshit, baby. Please see through it. Especially if you've forgiven this person like numerous times and they keep doing the same thing. This person could have a nasty ass attitude. This person could have definitely cheated on you multiple times. This person could still be cheating on you because we have double life. If you get back with this person, if you reconcile, if you allow this person to spin the block, it's not going to be a happily ever after. It's not. At the bottom of the deck, player. That's what this person is. That's who they are. And honestly, this person... <sighs> This person is not going to change anytime soon is what I'm hearing. But not only that, this person got a lot of karma to pay up because this person didn't just do this to you. Remember, if you were in a relationship or a marriage with this person, they were doing other people just as dirty, fucking and ducking, stealing energy, using people for their own benefit, a leg up in life. All the while still trying to hold on to you. If this person ghosted you, this person was still holding on to you energetically. You could have had a soul tie with this person and they were pissed that you never wanted anything more because you saw this person for who they are and who they still are. But like I heard in the beginning, exposed. This person's going to get exposed. They absolutely are. Mm -hmm. Publicly. Publicly exposed. I can't make look at look what's coming out. Like literally confirming everything I'm saying. People are gossiping about this person heavily, and it's not good gossip. It's not at all. Yeah. Drama. Didn't I say if you take this person back, if you stay with this person, if you allow this person to spin the block and fill your head up with bullshit and lies and manipulation, baby. You're going to regret it. And you're going to so regret it. For some of these people, they have an STD or a sexually transmitted demon. For some of these people, they are highly promiscuous. I mean, it's disgusting. It's highly disgusting is what I'm hearing. I've had too much drama in my life. I'm trying to stay out of it. They can't because this is the drama that they caused onto themselves. See, your guides, your angels, your ancestors, your benevolent, benevolent spiritual beings are trying to get you out of there. So if you're listening to this reading, it's a confirmation, baby. 3131, it's time for you to move on. It's okay to be alone. It's okay. Like I said, if you have children and you're worried about supporting your children, you know, you're worried about having a house that you can raise your children in stability, financial stability, God is going to take care of you, baby. You have to have faith. You have to believe that undoubtedly. Please. For you deserve much better. I've heard rumors about you that has been difficult to ignore. No, it's rumors going around about this person. Everything... For some of them that they try to make you out to be, people are realizing it's them. It was never you. Okay? And they have a lot of drama going on and it's only going to get worse. Do you want to be a part of that? For some of you, God is trying to get you up out of this commitment before it all goes down. For others of you, do you want someone that is having a lot of tower moments, karma, that's, you know... Very promiscuous, could have an STD, a sexually transmitted demon, either or, or both, coming back into your life. Someone that is playing games. Hell no. 
Yeah. Overthinking. This person is always in their mind. Always. This person's delusional. Yup. They're delusional. They're actually still waiting for you. They actually think that you guys are going to work everything out. If this is someone that you are committing to, but your intuition is telling you to let them go. If this person goes to you and never gave you the time of day and think that they're going to come back and everything going to be copacetic and you're going to live a happily ever after life, that shit is false. Three, 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 three. You done learned that lesson. You done mastered this lesson. You understand me? This person has mental issues and they actually need help. They really do. This person can actually be in another commitment for some of you guys, be married, but they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop worrying about your love life. They can't stop thinking, wanting, yearning, obsessing about you. They can't move on. So they're still waiting for you? For those of you that have let this person go, they are hella delusional. I can't make this up. I can't. They're still waiting for you. To reach out to them. To come back. Even if they're dealing with all these other lovers. Like I said, they're not satisfied. <laughs> because the void that they have cannot be filled with other people. It only can be filled with healing and loving them damn selves. I'm driving myself crazy. Thoughts of you keep consuming me. Mm -hmm. It's their karma. Especially if this person ghosted you and was dealing with all these other options and then got married or got in a relationship that they are completely unhappy in, they're trapped. And it's not your job to save them. It's not. They're overthinking, got them trapped in a situation that they cannot get out of. You don't have the love you used to have for them and you're not sexually attracted to them. You're not attracted to them. I'm hearing any more. If this is someone you were committed to, this person allowed their overthinking to do completely, I'm hearing unthinkable actions behind your back. Irrational behavior. Impulsive decisions. Like I said in the beginning, if you actually knew what this person did, it would hurt you to the core. Because collective, you guys are genuine, kind, supportive, unconditional, you know, benevolent, divine beings. And you would never think to do the atrocities that this person did to you behind your back. Whether you were, you know, in a commitment, you are in a commitment, or this person wants to come and spend the block, okay? Put yourself where you belong. Your angels, your, your passed on loved ones, your spirit guides don't want you to become imbalanced and hurt and depressed and stressed, trying to figure out why this person is such a I heard an evil being, but I feel like this person could allow, you know, whatever demonic entity that they could have sent out or that is attached to them, they allowed or they're allowing this entity to take them over. For others of you, unfortunately, this person is just a narcissist and they're manipulative and there will be no change. That's just who they are. That's just who they are. And the more you realize this, the more you see this, the less attracted you are to them. The more the love that you have for this person dies. I mean, of course, you're always giving out unconditional love, but you don't need to be with that person. Mm -mm. Even if this is your twin flame is what I'm hearing. Even if they didn't mean to do this because they were being controlled by an entity. You, you get more peace by yourself, is what I heard. And you will have a higher level soulmate 
that will come in and love you way better. That will understand you, you know. For some, this could have been a karmic twin flame. Okay? Or a karmic soulmate. All right, put yourself where you belong. You know, your twin flame unintentionally hurts you. You know, your twin flame unintentionally hurts you because they have wounds that they need to heal. But a karmic twin flame and a karmic soulmate, that shit is intentional. But if this is your twin flame, they're not healing, man. They're not. And they're just going to infringe on your mental peace. And who got time for that, right? If this is a karmic soulmate, yeah, definitely let them go. You didn't learn this lesson. You didn't master this lesson. A karmic twin flame, you didn't learn this lesson. You didn't master this lesson, baby. Let go. If you haven't already, okay? You are worth it. You are. Yeah, they... Of course they stalking you. They stalk everything you do. Every single day. It's not a day that goes past that this person is not stalking you. Not taking notes. Right? Not trying to gaslight you. Acting like, oh, they're going to basically prove themselves. It's bullshit, babes. It is. If you are committed to this person, if you have reconciled with this person... And it seems like they're putting in the work is bullshit. Because behind the scenes, they're living a double life. They have secret lovers. They're lying to you. For others, this person is trying to get back into your energy. By all means necessary. Because your energy was the key component on how they manifested everything that they have in their life right now. And for doing that and stealing from you everything that they have invested in and they have built off of your energy is crumbling and will continue to crumble. Mm. I don't even feel like you care if they're trying to prove it. I think you're over it and you will be if you, if you aren't already. Okay? Let's see a little bit more. Yeah, because your true love is trying to come in, especially if you're still committed to this person, okay? Or you could already be with your true love and this karmic twin flame, karmic soulmate, they want to come in and fuck it up. See, you've learned to be more private. You've learned to move in silence. And now this person don't know what's going on, especially if this is someone that ghosted you or someone that never chose to commit to you, but they wanted to come in and steal your energy, your ideas. They want to make sure that you're miserable and your love life is shit because they're going through shit. <laughs> they're actually getting back what they wanted for you. It's karma. Wow. So your real divine counterpart or higher level soulmate, because everybody's not a twin flame. So your real divine counterpart or higher level soulmate, you could already be with this person. Or once you let this person go, this person is coming in. This is why I said, baby, it's okay. Let it go. Don't you want better? Don't you? Right? Just continue to focus on yourself. If you're already single, you have this coming in towards you. If you need to let go of a commitment, just continue to focus on yourself and God is going to give you a love that is unexplainable, is what I'm hearing. It's unexplainable. This person, this true love, your true divine counterpart, high level soulmate, they're on the verge of wanting to express themselves. But are you keeping yourself stuck in a situation that no longer serves you? That was just a lesson. That was just a catalyst. 
Do you have a wound that you are reluctant on healing that is keeping you with this person? Please heal so you can move forward, baby. Because what you have in store for your future when it comes to your love is unexplanatory. It is. Unintentional. Remember I said, for some of you, this could have been your twin flame. I feel like it's two different people here, okay? I feel like it's your real twin flame or a higher level soulmate, and then it's the false twin flame karmic soulmate. You know, for some of you, you could have been in a relationship, you know, with your real twin flame, and they definitely hurt you, I mean, to the core. And you probably don't want anything else to do with this person. For others of you, you were in a relationship with a karmic twin flame or a karmic soulmate. And some way, somehow, you know, your real twin flame or your true love did hurt you. But they didn't do as much as whoever this person is. I mean, that's what I'm, what is this unintentional shit? Heal it. I feel like it's two different messages here. For some of you, you could have definitely went through this with a karmic twin flame, karmic soulmate. Others of you, you could have went through this with your actual twin flame. Not a higher level soulmate, no. Your twin flame. This person actually thought that someone else was better than you and they treated you like this. They did all of this behind your back. This is crazy. And the craziest part of it all, Spirit is saying that it was all a part of the plan. This person sits back to themselves and actually doesn't understand why they did any of this. But by doing all of this, they have realized who they betrayed. They feel shitty, guilty. I'm hearing worthless. They feel low. And they actually thought that a friend was better than you. If they reconciled with you, they pretended, they lied, they gaslit you. This is some heavy shit. This is some heavy shit. For some of you, this could have been your actual twin flame. And crazy as it be, Spirit is saying that this person did all of this unintentionally. Like, this person has mental issues. This person does need to go to a doctor because they convinced themselves that they were doing the right thing when they were living a double life, having secret lovers being untrustworthy, constantly breaking your trust, overthinking, stalking you to study you to make sure that they don't get caught. 
acting like they eliminated other people, but they didn't. Being hard to read in this connection. Doing the most. Talking about you behind your back. Calling you names. For some, they even did magic on you. Evil eyed you. Woo. And you honestly don't want shit to do with this person. But the craziest part is this person actually believed that they were doing the right thing. That's crazy. Plot twist. Is that they actually thought that a friend was their true love, but the one that they were treating like shit was their true love all along. The one that they portrayed and went against was their true love all along. Damn. And for others of you, this is a karmic soulmate, a karmic twin flame. And you are about to come into union with true love, your true divine counterpart. And your karmic twin flame, your karmic soulmate will never forget you. They will never forget what they've done to you. And they will be trapped in a mental prison or some actual prison for all that they've done to you. But you got to let this person go if you are committed. If you already have, you have real love coming in. Just keep focusing on yourself. And this true love, this divine connection, if this was not your divine counterpart, they only want you. This high level soulmate, they only want you. I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering. If this was your twin flame, you are going to be reassigned. Oh, absolutely. 53, 35, and this person will mirror you. And that equals 8, 8, and you guys will be abundant. And this original twin flame, oh, they will witness it all as they fall from grace and get stripped of their divinity. Yeah. If this was a karmic twin flame or a karmic soulmate, like I said, you're coming into union with your true, real twin flame, higher level soulmate, if you don't have a twin flame. But this is crazy. If you are coming into union with your real twin flame or a higher level soulmate, Whoever this karmic soulmate is or uh, karmic twin flame, they are reluctant on letting you go, man. It's crazy. But like I said, you have a spiritual guide specifically assigned to block this person. Everything that they're doing, evil eye, spell work, trying to call you from unsolicited numbers, trying to act like other people, having fake accounts, like it's all being blocked. But a lot of you guys are the high priests. Like, you're you're tapped in, man. This person is stalking you, trying to figure out a way to get back in, but they can't. Because you actually are pulling in or you're dealing with someone that only wants you. Some of you guys are already with your true divine counterpart or high-level soulmate because you did the work to even be with this person. You have become one with self to even be with who mirrors you, who is your other half. You have to be whole within yourself in order to be with this type of divine being. I feel like for some of you, this could definitely be a karmic soulmate or a karmic twin flame that is like going through hell and high water, getting humbled royally. And it's because you don't want nothing to do with this person. You're focusing on yourself. But if this is a real twin flame that did this shit, oh, you're being reassigned. And this is just sad. This is sad. And the fucked up part is this person has realized that they actually went against the only person in this lifetime that was supposed to give them a higher love. 
a higher love. If they love themselves enough to change, to heal, and to be better. But this person didn't want to do it. Okay? They didn't. Let's get some zodiac signs on who this person is. This is crazy. On some real shit. Ooh, child. A Libra. Taurus. Gemini. This could definitely be some of you guys' exes. Aries. Fire. Sag, Leo, Aries. Okay. I'm hearing this could be the signs of your true divine counterpart that you're with, that you soon will come into union with, your real divine counterpart, okay, higher level soulmate. And this could also be the signs of, you know, this person that you need to let go of, that you have let go of, or that this person wants to come back into your energy. Aquarius at the bottom of the deck, okay? Ooh, child. Let's get some advice. This person was on a high horse that they should have not been high off of, okay? This person was on a high horse that they should have not been on. And now they're trapped. They're going to prison, spiritual prison. I mean, they will be kept away from you, whoever this is to you. It could be multiple people, shit. Yes, you will be gifted everything that this person tried to take from you energetically, financially. And it will be, I'm hearing, a hundredfold. Like, you're going to get it back times a hundred. Damn. But you're also being gifted real love. Or you're already in a connection that this person is a gift to you and you're a gift to them. Please put yourself where you belong. Mature woman in reverse. Woo, child. Yes, that is, I'm hearing a heinous feminine energy. So some of you guys, this is a feminine. Others of you guys, this is a masculine. But empress in reverse, this is not an empress. This is a tyrant. It's a karmic ass female or a karmic mother. Now, a karmic mother could have coerced this person to do all this shit to you. And your twin flame is like, oh my God, like your twin flame. What I'm hearing is just sad. Like they really are thinking about offing themselves, unaliving themselves. That's what I'm hearing because of this karmic ass mother that told them to do all of this. Like they were a part of the gossip. They were a part of why your person treated you the way they treated you. Damn. Now, if this is someone that wants to spend the block and got married or got into a long-term relationship with a karmic-ass older woman, this person wants to come and give you a gift because they didn't basically pick the wrong person, but that's not your problem. Yeah. And poverty will be bestowed upon them. While you are gifted, they are not declined. Every investment, null and void. Mm. This could definitely have been someone you were in a relationship with. We have main male, despair. They sick, boo. Or this is someone that wanted to be your man. I'm hearing, ah, I wanna be your man. Yeah. Damn. This person could have gave you a cursed gift too. 
And when they gave you this cursed gift, it stagnated a lot in your life. <laughs> Damn, like this person is crazy as fuck. Like this person could have gave you a cursed gift when they reconciled with you. And it was all a scheme, a plot, a plan to bring you down. And when I tell you this person is sick, like depressed, stressed, you look what, what, what did I just show you? Main male, despair, and uh, what's that say? Bad health? I'm not lying. This person is thinking about unaliving themselves because they can't deal with the guilt of what they've done to you. It's that deep. And on top of the fact that they're going to be poor as shit, asking for fucking donations or uh, money. Like, they're not going to have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, is what I heard. Ooh, child. Yeah, in the near future. I can't make this up. Damn. This mature woman, what's up with this? Some mother figure or a wannabe empress, is what I heard. This person gave the impression that they were like rich or abundant just so they could be with this person or your person. They gave the impression that they had it all. But it's bullshit. It's, it's furthest from the truth. Damn. And if this person did have money or come from money, they won't know more. They are very immature, childish, just like this person. Whether this person wants to spin the block and come back into your life, never gave you a commitment, or you were committed, or you are committed. Please put yourself where you belong. Ooh, child. For some, they could have collaborated with this toxic-ass, childish, older woman, fake-ass empress, fake-ass queen, to plot on your great fortune. And when I tell you this person is in so much fucking regret because of what they got coming. This is mad. Yeah, pathway. I can't. What they got coming, boo-boo. Mm. Mm. Both of them. I'm hearing all of them. Either both of them or all of them. Mm. Damn. Their life is about to be turned upside down. And it's going to be like that for a long time. Some to the day they, you know, pass away. Yep, some of them going to prison for the rest of their life. Or spiritual prison. And then within this spiritual prison... Their life is, oh my God. Like when I tell you this person is going to suffer, what they did to you is not any comparison on what they got in store coming for them. And they know it. And they know it because they did heinous, malicious shit behind your back. Like I said, if you knew, you you would cry. You, you, woo, for money, for the love of money. This is crazy. And some of you... <sighs> Woo, child. This could be your twin flame for some of y'all. Your root. But not no more is what I heard. Yep. Someone that acted mature. Someone that could have been older than you. Yep. Change is coming in your life for the better. In their life, when I say for the worse... That's not a good enough word to describe what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing it's about damn time. That's what I heard your ancestors say. It's about damn time. We sick of this person. Twin flame, false twin flame, karmic soulmate. We sick of this person. And maybe you are too. That's why the love dying card was here. We, we sick of this person. We sick of them. I keep hearing that. Yeah, they did work so that you could struggle. Sudden wealth in reverse. 
with um, Toll and Label, they did work constantly so you could struggle. For some of them, they did this shit behind your back and was sitting and smiling in your face, telling you, I love you. Kissing you, kissing the children that you share or the child that you share together, all the while waiting for you. Damn. Waiting for you to fall in every aspect of your life, mentally, financially, and blocking your love life. A lot of you guys could have been at a lowest low of, at the point of your life. And it was because of this person, little did you know. When I tell you they got it coming to them, they got it coming to them. And whoever else was collaborating with this person. Like, I know I joke around a lot, but the, the energy got real serious. Like, this is not a laughing matter. What they did to you, what they caused you, the pain, the hurt, the sorrow. Some of you guys were suicidal. And they keep doing this shit. But it's not touching you anymore. But if you stay committed to this person, they're going to bring you down, baby. Get out. Run. If you have already left this person, if you have blocked this person from coming back towards you, yes. Because everything that they've done to you, the rumors, the slander, I mean, that's just like, the, the, that's a little bit. When I said slander and rumors, This person, they got it coming, man. And every time they did something to go against you, it just added more to your positive karma. It did. Like when I tell you that you are literally shifting into a golden life, this person helped it. Every time that they fucked you over, every time that they played in your energy, Every time that they keep sending you spell work, evil eye, they're just adding to a golden life that you will live and they will see it. Even from a jail cell is what I heard. I don't even want to hear some of the, shh, I'm going to be real. I don't even want to hear some of the shit that I'm hearing, but I don't even want to say some of the shit that I'm saying. I didn't even mean to say here some of the shit that I'm hearing. But that's what I'm feeling like. But also, I don't even want to say it like, cause mm, may God have mercy on this person's soul. So on some real shit, y'all. And all they know, all they can think about is that all that they're going through is because of what they did to you. What they keep doing to you. For some of you, for some of them, this is their future. Oh, but it's not going to be easy. It will be suffering involved as well. This is crazy. That's why this person is having really terrible thoughts. But also, you know, I'm hearing for some of them, they could definitely be possessed. That's why they're thinking about unaliving themselves because that entity that they tried to cast upon you is sucking them dry and they want their soul. Oh yeah, they want their soul, baby. So they want this person to unalive themselves and they're gonna ride their neck until they choose to do so or until the day they pass away. This person will be so un stable mentally like if they are overthinking now if their you know mental illness is affecting them now I mean when I say in the future it's going to get 10 20 for some a thousand times worse I'm here at insane asylum wow that whoo 
This person could be a cancer too. This person could heavily be in, you know, an occult, dark magic. They, they fucked with the right one, man. They really did. They fucked with you. And they kept fucking with you. And I'm trying to tell you, man, you got, whoo, you got deities, Orishas, that's about to whip this person's ass. I'm not lying. Like, your spirit team, your ancestors, they, they haunting this person too already. They did this with a group of people. This person could even go to someone's house that could possibly be a um, a dark practitioner and they're paying this person to try to keep coming at you. But I'm trying to tell you, even the practitioner gonna go down for doing this shit because the practitioner know better. The practitioner knows that you are a highly ranked soul, but the practitioner just want this person's money. Now, for some of you, this practitioner is actually sending the magic towards them, sending the entities towards them and never sending it towards you. But this person is stupid. They don't know that. And they're constantly going back to this practitioner or this occult leader. And this occult leader has had a vigorous dream saying, if you don't stop, oh, you next, motherfucker, in the worst way. And this practitioner or this occultist, they got terrified. And every time this person comes back to them to try to, you know, pay them to do work on you, they just do work on this person. They don't even send it to you. <laughs> nope. Uh, they don't even send it to you. They be conjuring up their little, you know what I'm saying, potions and whatnot and sending it right to this person. But this person don't even know that they're so stupid. Now, if this practitioner is stupid enough to still go against God... Oh, then, you know, they're going down right along with this person. Oh, don't get it fucked up in the worst way. But I'm about to get about this person energy. I've been in this energy too long, and it's been an hour. That's it, y'all. I cannot. Oh, my God. And I split the deck. Like, and some of you, you're going to see this go down. It's going to be publicly. Some of them, you know, you're going to basically witness this. You're going to witness this. That's what Spirit is saying. You will see this. Okay. Because what they did was just uncalled for. It, it was all for money. Clout. This person's an idiot. Let's just, let's get on a positive note real quick for you. And advice. This person's an idiot. And this person knows that they're an idiot, okay? Shit, you won the battle, you won the war, you won everything. You didn't even try, okay? You got spiritual goons. Okay, you are protected heavily. Advice? Yeah. They lost, not you. Period, point blank. I told you. <laughs> Didn't I say you won the battle and you won the war? Because, baby, you're on your path. You're righteous. You're an earth angel. You're a chosen one. You're heavily protected. Your purpose is high. And ain't a motherfucking soul, especially this person, or people going to stop it. Hell no. You got bigger fish to fry? Shit. You think God gonna allow this person to take you down when you are guiding, helping, healing the collective? Fuck no. All right? Yes, you got divine source backing you, baby. Divine source God. Okay? The devil will never beat God. A demon will never beat an angel. It just is what it is. But they will beguile you and bamboozle you to think so. And that's exactly what they did to this person. And when I tell you this person is crying and stressed and scared and terrified. <laughs> this person is getting haunted in their own home. Wherever they go. It doesn't matter. Wherever they go. Whew. Real quick. Let's get some initials. Just in case you don't know who this is. Okay, but I feel like you do. We have A, N, O. It's a hell no. I can't make this up. X, definitely an X of yours. Or someone that you need to X up out of your life. M, E, 
S. Yeah, this person could have definitely had someone, two people, could be the initials of E and S that was collaborating to bring you down. When I tell you they all going down. Oh. Mm, Q U is sad. It's fucking sad, honestly. I E, because these individuals have children. They actually have, you know, mothers and, and fathers that care about them. And when I tell you they are going down in the worst way, they ain't even gonna see it coming. They ain't even gonna see it coming. Damn. Z. K. Y. R. E. K. I. D, somebody could be a doctor. M. Yeah, spiritual doctor is what I heard. A. Y, somebody family could also, you know, be in black magic. And you. This could be your initials is also what I'm hearing for extra confirmation. All right? But uh, yeah, you could have a kid with this person. I told you this person has a kid or y'all have a kid together or you have kids. That's the sad part, man. There's some heavy ass energy, y'all. I'm, I'm... Somebody's birthday could be in May. This could be your baby's father or baby's mother. You could have lived with this person, Keys. I'm seeing D-I-E. That's what I'm saying. In the worst way. I'm seeing maker. Yeah, they're going to meet their maker. I'm seeing AI, so they're spying over social media. Someone could live in New York, Kentucky, Massachusetts. I'm seeing Mika, Myra. Sydney. Eddie. Mike. Reiki, someone could have tried to get Reiki or you could be a Reiki healer or a spirit is saying, go get Reiki healing. Somebody's name could be Mia. Somebody could like wearing Nikes. Somebody could definitely be married here or was married. Or maybe this person wanted to marry you. Somebody's name could be Sky. Somebody could say, hey, a lot. Somebody's birthday could be coming up. 
Somebody is going to be hospitalized and they're going to get an x-ray. They could get into a bad accident. Somebody could say psych a lot, but they actually mean what the hell that they're saying, throwing a lot of shade. Cena. I'm hearing Cena. Mine. Yeah, this person is reluctant on letting you go. Somebody has an STD here. I'm seeing MD. Somebody went to the doctors or needs to go to the doctors. I'm hearing Messiah. Messiah? <clears throat> Ken, this could definitely, yeah, damn, of course. This could definitely you be someone you have a family with or their kin. Remember, we did see a mother figure. This could be somebody, you know, that's close to them that encouraged them to do this shit to you. Shit, a mother figure could be in the cult as well as their son for some of you. But yeah, I'm going to name off the letters again and you guys can write it down to see if you see any other names or words. But this has been a long reading and I need to cleanse my energy and uh, I need to go pray. Okay? For sure. Um, A-N-O-X-M-E-S-N-Q-U-I-E-U-Y-A-M-D- I K E R Y K Z. Some of you guys, this could definitely be your child's father or child's mother. I mean, because you are a good hearted individual, you are going to cry when you see what. Oh, I, I can't, y'all. I, I got to get out of this energy, man. I love y'all. Please stay prayed up. Protect yourself. Ask God to banish those that is in your energy that does not have your best interest at heart that is wanting the worst for you. Oh, my God. If I stay in this energy, I'm going to cry. Like... Stay prayed up and faithful knowing God is protecting you. Your angels, your ancestors, ancestors, Orisha's deities, spiritual gangsters. When I say it, they're not fucking around at this point, man. It's serious. And shit about to get real. Make sure you console your children if this is your child's father. Or child's mother, please. Console them. Don't even make them aware of what's going on if they are too young to understand, but if they are old enough to understand. Console them. I love y'all to life. I'm gonna leave it right there. Oh God. I love y'all. Bye.